Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Rick Utsa here with Aragon Webb, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And we are here in beautiful, sunny, gorgeous Montgomery, Alabama at the Southern Sportsman's Hunting Lodge for the Gamble Score Master Classic. One of the cool things I get to do when I come down here while they're out running around chasing squirrels, I get to shoot some new Gamo air guns. This is the new Gamo Aero Classic. Yeah, let's get into it. Hey there guys, uh, really quickly, I want to say thank you to Gamma USA for sponsoring uh, Ergon Web, for bringing us out here to the Gamma School Master Classic and letting us spend some time with these cool air guns. It's a treat, we enjoy it, we love it, we have a great time when we get this opportunity every year. So I want to say a huge thank you to Gamma USA for uh, kind of putting the money where their mouth is and helping the youth shooting sports and everything else they're doing. So thank you so much for Gamma. Now let's get back to the video. So this is the Gamma Arrow Classic. Now. The Gamma Arrow has been out for a while. It's a synthetic gun. Uh, it's very nice. It's like the beautiful backyard, super quiet, plinking, target shooting, even pesting, that kind of thing. But they wanted to take it to like a little bit more. Want to give it a little more juice, right? A little more gas in the tank, a little more power. Uh, yeah, and they put it in a gorgeous wood stock. So that's the Gamma Arrow classic is wood stock, a little bit larger cylinder, more power. So where the regular arrows is 19, 20-ish foot-pounds. This is 27, 28 foot-pounds, so pretty good increase. Definitely makes it ideal for small game hunting, um, especially out to maybe even 50 yards. Today we're shooting up close. We've got 20 yard targets today. Because this is a, I call this a backyard gun, I'm gonna shoot it like it's a backyard gun, right? So let's see what it can do at 20 yards. I've got some different pellets. I wanna talk a little bit about how the shot curve works and all that kind of stuff, it's the features as we go along. I'll be running my FX chronograph so you guys can hear what we got happening, it's at least the velocity goes. We're gonna start off with the JSP 1589. I really think they're gonna be the best for, let me save this string, new string, okay. I think the, the 1589s are gonna be a good weight. Uh, the Red Fires, we're gonna shoot those today. We've got the Hades, which are also 1589. We've got the Barracuda Hunter Extreme, which I've just had them, so I thought, why not shoot them? And then I've got the 1813, so that's quite a lot to shoot today. We're gonna to do, be doing five shot groups. Now I have already done some work on this, I'm not coming out of this uh, kind of blind. I haven't done any cleaning or tuning or anything like that. I just have put pellets in it and shot it. I put a BSA optic on it because it doesn't come with an optic. It does come with open sights, as you guys can see. But I threw an optic on here, just your basic, uh, probably $100 BSA 3 to 9 with uh, adjustable objective and mill dot. So just your basic scope. does work very well. I'm super happy with how this is working out. Okay. So the way this thing functions, it's got a T-handle at the back. It kind of looks like an arrow. I think that's where they got the arrow kind of idea. Um, this guy, you're gonna push down, pull it back, and push it all the way forward, make sure it locks up. If it doesn't, uh, yeah, it makes a mess. You, it's, it's not good, so don't do that. Um, the other thing is it fills to 232 bar. At 232, you're gonna get 30 shots with an extreme spread of about 74 feet per second. That's kind of broad. At 20 yards, doesn't matter, by the way. But if you were shooting, seven, trying to shoot 75 or 100 yards, that extreme spread's gonna, gonna give you a fit. But if you're up close, that doesn't matter. What I've chosen to do is I've done a little testing. If I back down the fill to maybe like 210 or 215 bar, I get 20 good shots in the, in the shot curve. So that extreme spread drops to around 30 feet per second, which is completely manageable. Um, and I would shoot 50 yards with that, no problem. So. Uh, yeah, let's see where, again, we're 20 yards. We're gonna start with the 15.8.9s. I think I put 10 rounds in there. I meant to only put five. Uh, so we're gonna shoot five shot groups and just work our way through it. I will need to top off. And for topping off today, I'm using my GX pumps, the battery one. Yeah, for you guys that have been following it, I've had it for a couple years and it's still working. So for anybody that's interested in like a really cool way to fill your air guns out here in the field, that's a really, really cool pump. All right, let's get started here. Okay, I'm gonna go for top left. And again, I'm going to do five shots. I'll just empty the mag when we're done here. 
Okay, so those are push in. I don't need the chart. I want to see foot pounds. 28. We topped out at 28 foot pounds. Oh, I need a poker, pokey thing. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, let's do the Hades next. The Hades are also 15.89. And since they're the same weight, well, you know what? No, let me do a new string. I'll save that. Start a new one. Okay. So the Hades are a great hunting pellet. They have what looks like a nuclear warning symbol in the front. And they have some good expansion when they hit game. They're pretty cool. All right, four, five. Okay. We're just going to walk our way down that left side. Let's see if they're about the same or they're a little less, a little bit more. Let's see. Five shots. Okay, that's only a seven foot per second spread, and we are pushing 28 foot pounds. The whole, that whole five shot group is 28 foot pounds. And you can see, I mean, this is accurate. <laughs> Super nice and accurate. Let's move to the red fires. So I gotta change things on my thing here. Save, go to profiles, edit. All right, so now we're gonna use a gamma red fire. That's so cool, the new app with the FX crony is, they have done so many awesome changes to it, it's pretty cool. All right, so let's see, that's good to go. Shot string, new string, cool. Red fires, okay. Moving our way down that left side. Five shots, third bull on the left. Locked in. 902. 902. 895. They did not shoot as well. <laughs> kind of knew that going in. Um, the Hades shoot exceptionally well. It's interesting. The Gamo PCPs really like JSB. The Gamo uh, brake barrels really like the Gamo Red Fire. So there's, there's got to be a difference in the manufacturing of the barrel or something going on there or who's making it or what. But um, it's okay. We have options that shoot really great. So that's what's important. All right, I'm gonna move over to the Hunter Extremes. I gotta change my pellet again. So let me add this pellet. Now these are heavier. These are 18.52, and then we're gonna to need to top off and we'll do our last, our last group with the 18.13s. Let me get this here. Left side, last bull down the left side. Here we go. 837. And they hit hard. Uh, it's 28.8 foot pounds. 842. 842. 843. 843. 830. All right. Yeah, they are... Also, not they're better than the Red Fires, but not as probably, not even close to the Hades. Hades just shoot really, really well in these guns, guys. All right, so let me top this off, then we'll shoot the 1813s, then we're gonna wrap this video up. Okay, we're all topped off. We've got our 1813s. Took me a while to get the tin open, but we are ready to roll. We'll see how these do, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this video up after we've had this nice look. 
the new Gamo Aero Classic. Uh, I think that's five. There we go. Okay, we've got our crony going. Let's do uh, top. No, I'll do right, right, top, top right. There we go. Here we go. Okay, so our, save that string, we are 28.7, yeah, foot-pounds, so pretty good stuff. That 18 foot per second spread, so it might have been a little, I don't know, it's going to have a bit of a spread because it's not a regulated gun, but if you fill it to like a little over 3,000, maybe 3,100, you're going to be in the sweet spot of your shot curve. You're going to get 20 shots, it's going to work out really, really well. Uh, those the shock groups are great. I'm just going to poke at, look at them right from here, right? So I think the Hades, beyond a shadow of a doubt, just crushed it. The domed pellets, whether 15.89 or 18.13s, are about the same. The red fires were not great. The Barracuda Hunter Extremes would be, uh, you know, they're not great either, frankly. I mean, you, if you were just pesting in the backyard and you're 20 yards, you're going to take your game pretty easily, even with... Even with those Hunter Extremes, just adjust because, well, it's not going to hit the same place as the 15.89, right? All right, so some other features about the gun really briefly. Uh, it's got the, let's see, does it have the CAT trigger? I, it looks like it does. Let me see. Yes, yeah, so we've got the CAT trigger. It's obviously PCP. It's got a quick disconnect at the bottom. Just a really nice gun. I don't know what the price point is on this. I don't think it's very expensive. I think it's right in line with Gamo's budget PCP offerings. More power than the Arrow, which I really like. Super nice wood stock. Just a really fun gun to shoot. And for the backyard, it is super, super quiet. If you want to run open sights, you have those available to you. Guys, that's going to be it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We have been having a ball here at the Gamo Squirrel Master Classic. Again, the teams are out hunting squirrels. We have a Gamo Influencers team this year, and they did pretty good last night at the first counting. So let's see how they do when they come back in. Boy, it would be nice to win this for a change. All right, guys, that's going to be it. My name's Rick here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks so much for watching.